I'm Delafix and welcome to Star Wars Interworlds, where we are currently on the Victory 2 and we're eyeballing, well actually, one, two, and there in the distance is number three of what is going to be part of our so-called Assault Fleet. Uh, I told you at the end of last episode that I wanted to get myself a Dreadnought. And I decided that the Dreadnought most likely was not going to be enough. So let me get my hut back. And we got two of these Praetorian? Is that how you pronounce it? Praetorian? Yeah, two Praetorians. I set them up in the Children of the Watch, uh, Watch fleet. I got my 24 Fangs. On the victory too. I know it's probably more efficient to actually get uh, somewhere in the region of 15. Like these uh, bombing uh, ships. Uh, but I kind of am out of cash. Uh, so yeah, that's not going to be ideal. So um, we got the beta group over here. That's the Dreadnought. And we have the two Praetorians on a attack. Now... What do I plan on doing? I am going to be looking for a mission that hopefully we get to destroy a base with. So I want to start moving over to Tanap. See if there's anything we potentially could do. So let's send the fleet over there. Now luckily we have a lot of these fang fighters with me so i can always just confiscate one and fly away um to do something else but we definitely need a mission now where is this this is actually quite interesting actually uh, to be fair 20 turrets six shield generators one docking one pier and we will get a good amount of cash for that. I'm thinking I want to take this. Only free defense? Well, yeah, we I are going to do that. Uh, where do you want... Why, you want me to build that over there? Okay, that's interesting. Uh, let's get started. Well, because otherwise I, I just need to wait. And waiting is not too interesting. So... A 6x6x4. By six by Let's start with that. Uh, 6x6x4. Six by six by Place that dead center. Buy the license. Um, what is next? Three defensive modules. One docking area. One pier. And... A whole bunch of cannons. That, that's fine. This doesn't matter. To be a valid defense, one of the defensive modes must be an admin center. Okay. Let us start work on that then. Close briefing. Configurate station. So that is where the gate is. Definitely want to have the defenses over in that direction then. Okay, guys. So I decided to cut out the building process. I had a lot of issues getting the station in its right position. I don't know Jump why. Completed. I just Encore wasn't down. able to, to to get it the way I wanted. So it, it, this is the contraption uh, that we will just have to deal with. Um, we're going with a high preset. Confirm that. 3.7. I think we can actually boost that up a tiny bit more. It shouldn't be too much of a problem right now to just add more defensive measures. I have, with my own defensive station I should say, uh, I, I definitely added more defenses because, oh wow, those TIE Fighters. They are not joking around. They are absolutely mean. Oh, they are so mean. Well, of course, they're not mine, but still, it, it it was a bit upsetting at some point. So, we don't have the 6 million. Do not discard that. Confirm the changes and let's go. 
So that will be the defensive station. Six million. I'm expecting to make a bit more of that. I've also decided to add a additional Durasteel plates production onto the what used to be the refined goods complex because we do create more than we sell an hour. For me, that raises a bit of the point. Like, should we just make separate bases for commodities? I'm thinking about maybe changing my X4 production uh, Excel sheet into more Star Trek uh, Interworlds. Star Trek Interworlds. Don't hate me now. Star Wars Interworlds. So I can keep track of what my empire is doing. Uh, let me know what you think about um, about doing that. For those of you who are, bit, who are with my channel for a while, that they know that I have a Excel sheet that I use for pretty much keeping a good eye on my production, what goes out and what comes in, and not definitely by money, but especially what we produce and not. So I'm thinking about maybe just creating uh, that. For now, this is going to work. Of course, we make way too much graphene, but yeah, well, whatever. Doesn't really matter at all. Still, this is quite expensive. 12 million. Uh, I feel that is hmm, quite weird. Anyways, we need more money. This one is having 5 million. That's more than enough. How is the silicon wafer? That is doing great. We also, actually, I started to build superfluid coolant in there. And then I realized that the blueprint for the the microchips, they're like 8 million. And then the blue uh, blueprint for the... Um, what's the other thing that I wanted? Uh, let's quickly take a look before I start rambling too much. I know that chip sold. Um, plasma conduits and capacitors. Now, plasma conduits and capacitors both need the superfluid coolant, but... By itself, these two, these three blueprints, they will bring me down to like 23 million. And then the module prefab is 40 million. Damn, that is not a joke. 40 million. Absolutely insane. All right, where are we currently? We are about to jump to Geyser. Uh, we're going to be fighting the New Republic. Not too many war offers, actually. Wow. Advanced seminar for a four-star crew and a management. That is very nice. Delivering engineers and achieving coverage. That's just dropping a damn satellite. And that's it. How much money do I get from that? A million. That's not bad at all. I If I wasn't preoccupied right now, I would do, I would definitely go for it. Build a defensive station. Uh, this is usually in, in the heart of enemy space. So, yeah, I'd rather not do that right now. Let's close this down for now. Um, yeah, I'm going to be making the rest of the journey. And I'll meet you... In our targeting system, which is Tanap. Okay, so I get, did actually find a mission. Actually, there's two of them, so let's accept that one as well. And the mission I selected is the support the uh, the patrol. So how about we just confiscate this particular thing? I do like how it looks from over here. Like, not this one in particular, but there is a whole section here with fangs. I think that is amazing. Let us just confiscate the seat as well. Let's undock. Uh, we'll quickly go take the mission. Which, apparently, there is more bases over here. If I set this one to active, that should protect... That would help. That would help a lot. So, what I hope to do with the fang, or with the fangs, is to take care 
of stations, uh, turrets, and mainly this station. If I look at this, then there is quite a good amount of defensive modules. In this case, it's eight, and we do need to take care of those because I think that they would definitely harm us quite a bit. Now, as for fleet engagement, I kind of want to let the AI control the fleet. Well, we'll try to take care of the turrets. And the reason I do that is because of the... I, I, I just think the AI will most likely utilize their turrets better than I do. Although, we'll see. Hopefully, we'll not lose ships. I would be very sad if we do. Because... Well, let's just face it. The Dreadnought cost me 16, 17 million. Ooh, bit of lag going on. And I got two Pretorias, and that is give or take 8 million each. So, yeah. Quite Good expensive. Okay, so he didn't leave yet. Okay, let's undock. It seems that there is... Really? Who do you think you are? It, I saw that. Argon Station security vessel. Let's go. I saw a New Republic ship somewhere around this region. Your wing. There we go. There we go. I know it's a, a, a trading ship, but yeah, that's not really my problem, is it? Well, I say that. Yeah. You know what? Let's go over here first. Engaged. While we start telling the fleet to move over this direction, I want to see what is near the jump beacon. While we quickly scout if these bases are of our faction. I think they are. But I want to know for sure. Standard docking. The text isn't text read. Factory. So I'm going to be assuming that this is definitely a Mandalorian factory. There's also... How... What is this guy doing? Interesting. There's a huge fleet over here, actually. Not that I mind. Autopilot. Disengaged. But that's going to be the target. The high-tech factory over here. So why don't we... I'm not sure if this will work. Attack all enemies. I want you to attack all enemies as well. If I set coordinate... What will happen... What I'm worried about is he's sending in those guys. Is that not too close? Uh, and let's just set this to active. The one thing I hope is that we are just not constantly getting something attacked me hey something attacked me and i'm like yeah the figures right Ooh. okay okay we'll see how this will go praetorian frigate praetorian frigate high tech factory. okay where do we have oh there's a lot of Bang fighter High-tech factory. Yeah, there's a lot of batteries. And there is a construction ship. Interesting. 
Okay, it seems that our dreadnought is being dreadnought attacked. These guys are definitely not there yet. I think we might need to trigger this because the dreadnought is already taking a beating. Go. And also the victory too. Tech factory. I need to really pay attention to my ships here. Let's go. We have torpedoes. Building drone. That is where I want to start. Factory. Come on. Okay, one of the fangs already was destroyed. Uh, let's take some distance. Okay, I'm out. Ooh, be careful of explosions, though. I'll wipe you out. Come on. It's a shame that we only had like four, uh, four torpedoes. Fighter. Oh no, 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 I don't need a dock. I don't need a dock, get me out of this. <laughs> oh, that is mean. That was mean. I got caught in that trap and I don't like it. Okay, right, so he is, how are you doing? 72, victory two. 68. Where's the other two ships? So apparently... It seems everything is... Fight. Let me close this down because it is finished. Torian is over there. Just starting to take him in for a beating. Let's teleport to this thing before we get, like, destroyed. Emergency eject successful. Yo. Give me your seat. Because uh, you're already out Bank of. Fighter. Mass transporter. High tech factory. Alright, we there's a dual laser cannon. I'm looking for the other ones. The station, the really heavy. Apparently. They don't mind if I just hang out over here. Um, for sure. Uh, these weapons are definitely not decent enough to deal with that. If I had torpedoes... Yeah, no shit. Oh, let's get the heck out of here before I... Oh, hull critical, of course, hull critical. What else? Like, I'm actually getting shot by some of the lasers. 60% on the hull of the station. Uh, let's go here, that's a bridge. Danger, bank fighter. Yeah, I might lose this one if that goes again. Bank fighter. Explosion imminent. High tech factory. Uh, got a repair drone over there, apparently. Bank fighter. <sighs> I 
use my booster a bit. Oh well. Um, how is the dreadnought doing? It's doing fine. That is doing fine as well. Where is me other ships? They're very, very close though. Did not expect them to be like over here. Uh, shall we jump? Where are the other two ships? Can't really tell. Can we change radar location? No, we cannot. Let's teleport over here. Uh, I've not been on the ship, so... Oh, this is cool. Yeah, I like that. Looks very nice, actually. I love these. Uh, this setting is way better than the other one. Where where are we? Praetorian frigate. That looks good. Praetorian they frigate. look extremely solid. They at least... Are uh, utilizing their range, and I'm not seeing these other two ships doing that. Okay, now there's another thing that we can do. This is let's do a boarding operation while we're at it. Um, slow as hell mouse right now, but okay. Just do nothing, I guess. I hope. Hopefully, this won't come back to haunt me. Boarding attack strength seems nice. It seems like all of them are launching their. Yeah, I just go for it, mate. Fang destroyed. Uh, we're going to be teleporting to... Can I teleport over here? Not oh, from this window, I can't. Teleport to that one. Hello there. <laughs> Hello there, go away. Alright, so that is... Bang fighter, short range transporter, short range transporter, A. I don't know what I shot, but I don't know if that Bang was... Factory. Bang fighter. Let's make sure I don't get trapped again. I do want to keep a... Praetorian frigate. Praetorian frigate. Okay, those guys are looking fine. Dreadnought class cruiser. He looks good. Arkan Station security vessel. <sighs> no, please. Bang fighter. Short range transporter. A. Explosion imminent. And victory two seems to be in control. High tech factory. Arkan station security vessel. <laughs> yeah, you don't need that. Mass transporter B. High tech factory. Danger. Let's get out. <laughs> Arkan Station security vessel. It Bang seems fire. like he went boom. Um, did we actually get our Marines killed then? Would not be surprised. Oh, they didn't even launch. They didn't bother. They're like, yeah. Oh, this is, this, that's not going to work, mate. <laughs> Oops. High tech factory. 
Well, it seems like the high-tech factory is down to 20%. There is still, it seems to be, some defenses going on. Like, there is a huge battery still. Thanks for your help. Mass, tra mass transporter, B. Uh, if it's shooting me, it's not shooting my large ships. So, yeah, I'm not going to be complaining about that. But I do think bombers would have been... Hey, that's a food trader. Nice. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Because I'm bumping into the station. Yeah, it, it, the fleet seems to do Thank you. what it's supposed to be doing. Up, wait, did we just get, get thanked? Thank you. You're joking. We just got a plus one faction relationship for destroying an enemy. <laughs> okay. Uh, interesting choice there, mate. Interesting choice. Critical. Did he go boom? Yeah, it seems like he did. I really am enjoying this fang though. Arkham Station security vessel. It looks absolutely epic. I think I really am in. Enjoying those ships together though. Mass transporter. Ooh, let's get by it. Yeah. Oh, almost got away with it. Now I'm stuck. I'm so stuck. Explosion Come on. Imminent. Please. Oh, no. Not like this. Not like this. Please, let me out. Ooh. Explosion imminent. High tech factory. The high tech factory is down to 1%. That's it. Let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Not that one. This one. There's a dreadnought. There is the victory too. And oh my god. All the way up there. Uh, it's like the Praetorian. Damn. That is cool. I like that. Can I get the dreadnought in there? The dreadnought's over here. Yeah, that's that's great. Awesome. Way to go, guys. Thanks for your help. Yeah, you're welcome, mate. Uh, we love to destroy your stuff. It's fine. So, if I dock up, do I get prepared? Oh, that's the wrong button. To be wiped out. Uh, I think we'll be fine. Do we get prepared? At least it... Wait, five minutes? No way. Uh, interesting. on dock yeah that's cool oh, oh that is really clever so correct me if i'm wrong but if i were to say to all of my ships like it's going to be extremely important to resupply and all then i might lose less ships uh for now let's teleport to the victory too I'm going to take command and we'll tractor in whatever they had over here. Did you level up or anything? Yeah, I think you actually did do quite nicely. Awaiting orders. So we made our territory a bit safer again. Not sure if they uh, the others would agree though, but I would definitely call that a success. We lost 10 fangs by the looks of it. And 
it seems that we got 1% damage to the hull. So they actually went through my shields. That's scary. Uh, you are... Let's teleport over here. Let's see if we can tractor in some more. Nah, we're completely filled up. It's fine. Uh, let's send... The guys over there. How are the missions doing? Uh, that's being built. Set that to active. I do want to go over here. So let's send the fleet here. This is now completely our territory. These Praetorians, man, they are they were definitely amazing. Like the dreadnought really got in the face of that station. Why is that? Let's let's quickly take a look. Why is the dreadnought in charge? Why do I have two different fleets? It's because I took command of that, I think. Uh, teleport over here. And I'm assuming these will actually be popping back in. Yeah, I need to be careful with that. I don't want the victory too to be by itself. Uh, you are going to be proceeding. Yeah, okay, that definitely was it. So, let's quickly take a look. So, we have the single turbo laser. I'm assuming that that is their strongest weapon. That's 10 kilometers. Now, I know the other one is having this one. That's 14 kilometers. But it does feel that the Dreadnought is not using that 10 kilometer radius at all. How about the... Um, the victory. Single turbo laser and quad. That's 6.9. And the single turbo laser is 10. Oh boy. Does this ship know he is a carrier? That would be the second question. He is. I think with 6.2... From X4, the carriers should remain uh, at a larger distance. But I don't feel like that actually like happened. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, let us quickly take a look. So this one is done. And it should not mess up this too much. No, it seems like that is working relatively nice. Now, I thought we took all of the money, but I'm not sure about that. I need to check that out if that is uh, doing what it's supposed to be doing. How about the silicon wave? That's done. Helium. Superfluid coolant. Did I set it up correctly? Uh, no, 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 I did not. Damn it. 28, 800. Oh, that's what you get if you don't pay attention. That will cost me. That will cost me. Private sector, please. Private sector. How much do we have? Way too much. That is not good. Silicon's good. This should always be private. And I don't care about that. Okay, so here we finally are. How much would we... Ooh, again lag in this area. Okay, make me happy. Yeah, okay. Well, that's not really making me uh, very happy. 
to be very, very, very honest. That's um, good luck out there. That's quite sad, actually. Uh, well, it is what it is, guys. Let's take a look. Demonstrating presence. Should actually be done or close to done as well. Oh, that's still 11 minutes. Well, I'll do that on my own because that's 180. It's not too interesting. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode because, well, we actually did do something. We helped in the war effort, destroyed a station, and I think that from now on we can actually start helping the Mandalorians more. I'm looking forward to an actual raid Though, I think we need more ships. If this is a good guidance to how strong your fleet needs to be, then this guy has eight subordinates. Uh, one, two, three, four, five dreadnoughts and one Praetorian. I think I would like to get five Praetorians and maybe three dreadnoughts, but also getting... Um, Take that, go. Remove that, go. Go ahead with your scan. Yeah, he's getting a beating. Well, anyways, guys, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see ya next time. Bye bye.